It has been more than two months since the August halving has happened, and all of us know that the average HIT earning has dropped significantly. In this video, I am going to show you how much HIT you can earn with one, two, or many helium hotspots. At the end of the video, I will also show you how to track the highest earning helium hotspots in the world. Hey folks, this is Roy, and welcome back to my channel, Eigentech. The majority of the earning of a helium hotspot comes from the proof of coverage challenge and there are three components or three activities inside the proof of coverage challenge. Those are a challenger or creating the challenge event, beaconing or sending the radio signal and witnessing which is receiving the radio signal from other hotspots. I have talked about these activities in detail in another video, you will find the link in the description as well as at the top right corner. So if you have only one hotspot, you will be able to create challenges. However, your beacon signal will not be uh, witnessed by other. So you will not get any reward for sending beacons and as well as you will not receive any witnesses from other hotspots. If you have two hotspots in your area, you will be able to do all of them. So whenever you have two or more hotspots, you will be able to perform all these three kind of activities. So what is the uh, based number of hotspots. So you'll learn about that by the end of this video. So let us now check a bunch of different examples to get an idea of how much HNT different hotspots are earning. So the first case is when there is only one hotspot in the area. So it doesn't have any uh, witnessing events. So you can see here uh, this hotspot is alone and it's earned, it has earned only 0.36 HNT in the last one month. Another example uh, 0 0.172 here 0 0.241 and then 0 0.349 HNTs in the last one month. So you can say that uh, if you have only one HNT in your area you can earn roughly from 0 0.15 to 0 0.35 HNT per month. Next we'll move to the example of two helium hotspots. So I have chosen those examples whose transmit scale is only one and they can witness each other as you can see by this uh, yellow line. And you can see that the total witness is of course going to be one in this case. So here the last month earning was 0.415 HNT, here 1.575, this example has 3.803 and this one has 1.575. So you can say uh, roughly and if you have two helium hotspots in your vicinity and you can witness each other, you will earn about 0.5 to 3.5 HNT per month per miner. The next case would be three helium hotspots. Again, I have chosen those cases with transmit scale one and the total witness is now two. And you can see in this case, the earning was 5.481, next one 5.6, 4.433, around 5.3. So again, uh, the average earning would be about 4 to 6 HNT per month per miner for the case of 3 helium hotspots if they can all witness each other. Next, we will check the case of 4 to 5 helium hotspots. So here you can see in this example, there are 4 helium hotspots and this one is witnessing all other 3 as you can see here. The transmit scale is 1, the earning is about 6.5 HNT in the last month, here 6.8 and 5.8 the last example has about 10.6 so roughly for four helium hotspots you will have about six to ten hnts per month per miner and then the next example is if you have many helium hotspots in your area in this case uh, there will be a lot of witnessing uh, more than 10 on average again i have chosen those cases where the transmit scale is one as you can see also from this green color uh, most of them has tran transmit scale 1 here. So last month earning was about 11.7 HNT here. In this example, uh, 19 HNT and here uh, another 19 point something. So you can say that on average you will earn about 10 to 20 HNT per month depending on your where you have placed your miner, how many miners you have in your vicinity and how many you are able to witness. So that would be the average per miner. So far you have seen that the earnings increases with the number of hotspots in your vicinity. However, this is not always true. The earnings increase when the transmit scale of other hotspots in your vicinity is around 1. But if you are in a very crowded area, like in major cities, 
the transmit skill will go down and you will get less earnings so your transmit skill does not directly impact your earning it's the transmit skill of other hotspot by which the earnings are scaled down so the examples would be major cities for example here first we can go to uh, london and you can see from this color that the in the central london area a majority of the hotspots have a low transmit scale cone close to probably 0.2 or 0.3 so in this case this particular hotspot uh, it has more than 33 it has about 33 witnesses in the past five days but the transmit scale is 0.35 so this is indicating that the transmit scale of other hotspots around it will also be lower and that's why you can see the earning is only 4.78 hnt in the past month this is another example from chicago again the transmit scale is very bad 0.14 and the earning has again gone down to 2.54 and uh, this example is taken from new york and this earning its earning is again 2.3 although it has 56 witnesses in the past five days so i uh, can say that in this kind of overcrowded area the earning will be about 2 to 6 hnt per month per miner let us now prepare a summary of the earnings that I have shown you so far. So I have prepared a table here. On the leftmost column, you have the number of miners in your area, starting from one to many and the overcrowded region. Then the number of witnesses, which will be one less than the number of miners for small numbers. And then this column is showing you the HNT earned per month per miner, as I discussed in the video. And here is the average HNT earned per month per miner. So for one, Helium hotspot is really small, only 0.25 HNT per month. With two helium hotspots, it, it increases significantly to 2 HNT per month per miner. Then with three, it is about 5 HNT, 4 to 5, with 4 to 5, you earn about 8 HNT per month. So you can see that with 4 to 5 helium hotspots in your area, you reach the global average. So currently, the global average is about 7.5 HNT per month per helium miner. And then with many helium hotspots with a good transmit scale you will earn about 15 HNT per month and in the overcrowded area it goes down to again 4 HNT per month. So note that these numbers are uh, as of the time of recording which is in the month of October 2021 and currently uh, the value of 1 HNT is about $20. If I assume that the cost of 1 helium hotspot is about $500 then you can compute the time for return on investment or ROI. So you can see with 1 helium hotspot it's going to be really long like more than eight years with two helium hotspots about one year with three about five months four to five will uh, take you three months and with many many helium hotspots about two months and again it goes increases to seven months but note that uh, this time i have indicated is assuming that the, this is the current average earning but this earning is again going to go down uh, as the number of hotspots are increasing with time so we can also estimate that uh, for that, we'll go back to the browser and uh, go to explorer.helium.com and you can see there are currently about 221,000 helium hotspots and the currently uh, in the last month, 57,000 helium hotspots have been added. So in this rate, the number of hotspots is going to be more than 600,000 in the next within the next 12 months and as a result, the earning will drop by another factor of 4. So we can see that the uh, that the ROI that I showed you here is going to be longer than uh, these numbers. Okay, so but anyway, if you look, if you are looking for the best number of helium hotspots for a completely fresh area where there is no coverage, it's still going to be three to five helium hotspots. And finally, if you like to track the highest earning hotspots in the whole world, there is a nice, nice website. Uh, it's called HeliumTracker.io. You can go to that site and click on hotspot charts. So here you will see a list of highest earning helium hotspots based on the earning in the last 24 hours. So this is the number one, Brilliant Lava Leopard. And you can also sort according to the earnings of last seven days or last 30 days. So you can see in the past month, the highest earning hotspots have earned around um, 185 HNT. That was the maximum HNT earned in the past month. And the others are around 170 or 160, 150 HNTs per month. Now, if you see that your earning is less than the average earnings that I showed in this video, it could be due to several reasons. First, you are using indoor antennas so that your signals are not reaching out so far, so you are not getting as many witnesses. Uh, you could be relayed, 
I have already a video on how to fix relay. You can check that out. Uh, so relay basically means other hotspots are having difficulty to reach your hotspot. So you should ideally fix that. And then it could be that you have a poor internet connection so that uh, the challenges when they are created does not reach you in the right time. So you can try to fix those problems if you have and try to improve your earning. Also, if you compare the current earnings with the last video that I made in June, you will see that the uh, return on investment time has increased roughly by a factor of five. I'd like to mention a few more points before wrapping up this video. Uh, first, uh, as I mentioned that the h &T earning will definitely go down. However, your actual earning might uh, will depend on the price of h &T at the time you sell it. Okay. Second is that uh, a few days back, probably about 10 days back, uh, Helium implemented a protocol where now the maximum number of witnesses per beacon is limited to 10 witnesses. Earlier it used to be 25. So what would be the effect of that? So in most cases, most of the miners will not see much difference because the average witnessing is probably less than 10. But those Helium hotspots which uh, whose beacon signals get as much as like between 20 to 25 beacons, they will, they will see a drop in their earning from those beacon events by about 10%. And lastly, what would be the impact of POC version 11 activation, which is going to be implemented within probably two weeks or so. There are three important changes that are going to come as I have described in another video. You'll find the link in the description. But the main point is you have to set the gain correctly as I have discussed in my last video. If you do so, uh, there should not be any change in your earnings. And if you are within USA and you are using a antenna with a gain between 1 to 9 dBi, there will not be any change in the transmission transmitted power. But if you are in the Europe, uh, within uh, probably if you use more than 4 dBi gain antenna, your transmitted power is going to be reduced. But you don't need to worry about those things. You should still use the optimal antenna depending on your situation. I hope this information was useful to you. If you have any more question, let me know in the comment section. That's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.